Hi, welcome back to the farm. Today it's Sunday and I thought I'd feed the calves today with this small machine which we've got on demo for the last couple of days we've had it. It's a, a small pivot steer loader. It's a Manitou MLA 4-50, 50 horsepower small pivot machine. It's got a three cylinder Perkins engine in it and it's been really handy around our smaller yards and it's really got me questioning should we be looking at a smaller machine in the future rather than going for a much larger machine and this is of course non-ad blue as well because it's smaller three cylinder under the horsepower threshold for ad blue so i'll show you how it goes in today's video we'll start her up and go and get a bale of silage it's got the muck grab on the front it also has a bucket a road sweeper bucket pallet tines and i think that's it so yeah we'll go and take it for a spin and go pick up some bales H is 50 horsepower. It's got a 60 litre per minute hydraulic pump on it. It's got a three cylinder Perkins engine, 50 horsepower. It's got the um, really nice tombstone at the back for the counterweight and it's been really well designed because it's it's done that sort of classic manatee thing where they've really thought about the ergonomics of it. It's one of the reasons why I like the tally handlers so much. Around the yard, they just seem to tuck everything in quite nicely. And this is a European based machine. These are actually made in Germany now. And um, I'll show you the back. You see all the engine in there, which that is the Perkins engine. Um, so don't know if you can pick up the Perkins badge in there, but that is where it's from. And it's three cylinders, no need for AdBlue. Everything's really easy, access is easy. You've got everything you can get, battery, coolant, everything, all your filters, just super easy to get to. And drop that down. The fuel tank as well, over here, is on the side of the front, which I thought was really clever, because it's out of the way, it's tucked in there, it's nice. The rear cab visibility is amazing. It's all like panoramic. And then the doors swing open so you can let a bit of fresh air in throughout the day. And then the boom, again, steel. I'm really impressed with the build quality of the steel because it is solid. Um, everything on it is absolutely solid. Built like a tank. And they, this machine has not been out for very long. It's only literally been out for the last couple of years. It's also got LED lights as well and indicators. So yeah, it's really cool. Handy for Peter Kirby. I'll show you in the cab. So you can't open here. Rex Ross joystick, which is um, really nice quality. In fact, if I throw that door, it will stay on the side there. And then you've got your controls here. One thing which has really surprised me is the build quality of the cab. Um, it's actually quite a nice place to spend the day, considering the size of the machine that it is. It feels like a much more premium cab. It feels like much more of a, almost like the, the larger MLA, which we had on demo last year when we were muck spreading. So got all our controls, got our rev controls, speed control, then we've got all of our buttons and everything, all the good stuff for the cabs. We've got LED light in here as well if you want to light up the cab. We've also got your windscreen wipers and all that good stuff. But yeah, nice place to spend the day, that's for sure. And I'll show you, if you sit on this mount, how good the panoramic windscreen is. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, one thing for sure, it is manoeuvrable around the yard. Being a bendy, a pivot machine, and also being the size that, it's, that it is, it's only 1.1 meters wide. It's really, really narrow. And all I've got to do is put my windscreen wiper on there just to get that bit of rain off. There we go. So, start her up. Now you can increase the revs, just like on the larger machines, the Vario machines, but on this one, I just prefer at the moment to drive it off the pedal. So, it's joystick there, forward and backwards is on the joystick, and you'll see how maneuverable it is around the yard. Thank you. 
um, there we go. That's this machine used around the yard. And I tell you what, it is really handy, really nimble. I tell you what, we'll sit in the cab. It's just started raining now. Um, but yeah, it, it does about 75%, I would say, of the jobs a much larger MLT or larger MLA machine would do, such as, you know, loading the grain lorries or doing some jobs which are quite demanding. Obviously, a smaller machine like this wouldn't be able to do. But for the everyday tasks, for moving bales around, for moving straw, um, I've had this on the road sweeper as well, sweeping the concrete, and um, also, you know, things like pallet tines on it are quite handy around the yard. The, the main benefit of a small machine like this is it's manoeuvrable, it's nimble, you can get it anywhere. And I can see it fitting in very well in, for example, equine yards, you know, chicken facilities, poultry places, ducks, turkeys, all that sort of thing. Um, because of its size, because it's so small and nimble, it's only 1.1 meters wide. Also with that small three cylinder Perkins engine, it doesn't have ad blue, so it's quite simple. And actually for what it does, you know, moving the bales around the yard, you know, it's doing the job a much larger machine would do, such as, you know, the 630 or a larger 635, 737. Um, you know, it's doing the same job they would do and it's using a fraction of the diesel. And in a time where, you know, the government are going to add a much um, much more fuel, du fuel duty on to fuel and everything's becoming more and more expensive, you know, this machine is actually quite a good option for some people out there who are looking to save some money, save some costs, and also, you know, perhaps don't have the biggest farms in the world, but they're quite specialist, they're quite niche in what they do. And they just need something quite nimble around the yard and something which can just, as we've done today, feed out some bales, whether it's to cattle, whether it's to horses, bedding down animals with straw, all that sort of thing. Um, this machine has proven it itself to be, on this farm, very capable. And everything I've thrown at it, it's been able to do with ease. I've been mucking out with the bucket in one of our store alleys. We've got some store animals which were sold the other day and I've got to clean it out, ready for the next batch. And it just did it, did it with ease. It's just very powerful, hydrostatic transmission you can set from anywhere from 0 to 30k. Um, it's really, really at home on this farm because of its size. And it's going home on Wednesday, it's going back on Wednesday. And I tell you what, I will really miss this machine a lot because it is just so handy. Um, and you could even trade your scraper tractor in for something like this and do your scraping. Um, there's just no limit to what it can do because you can change the implements on it so easily. It's got the quick hitch attachments, so you can do it on the hydraulic quick hitch. I mean, you could have this on dairy farm scraping out easily and um, like I say it's a machine which is like a Swiss army knife it's a Swiss army knife of material handlers and it can be what you want it to be basically so yeah with that it's absolutely chucking it down on the farm now leave a comment in the comment section what you think of this lovely little machine and with that I'm gonna finish feeding these cattle and then it's gonna go back on Wednesday and then before long the 630 will be changed for something else so keep an eye out for that keep liking and subscribing all that good stuff enjoy your Sunday and I'll catch you on the next one Click here to subscribe to the channel and click here to watch another Ollie's Farm video.